Live from Las Vegas, Nevada, extracting the signal from the noise, it's The Cube, covering IBM Edge 2015, brought to you by IBM. Welcome back to SiliconANGLE TV's live production of The Cube at IBM Edge 2015. I'm Stu Miniman with Wiki Bond. Really excited to have with me uh, two guests from Vodafone, uh, coming from Spain. It's uh, Alicia Manteno and uh, Juan de Santiago. Thank you both for joining us, and thank you for coming all the way to share your story. Thank you. Thanks to you, Stu. All right, so Juan, let, let's start with you. Can you t tell us a little bit uh, about your role there, your alliances direction with Vodafone? Uh, you know, what's your role there, and what, what's your division of Vodafone do? Yeah, I'm, I'm in, in Vodafone Spain. I work at, at Vodafone Spain, and I'm in charge of the partners program, our partners program and alliances and in, 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 in the European uh, Enterprise Business Unit in Vodafone Spain. All right, and, and Alicia, you're the corporate product and solutions senior manager. Uh, same thing. Tell us a little bit about your role and what, what you do at Vodafone. Yeah, I work for the technology part of the of Vodafone, and very close to the EBU, the enterprise business unit, helping them to find new solutions for their corporate customers. All right, so uh, most people are quite familiar with IBM. Uh, of course, everybody knows who IBM is, but uh, they, they really have the Smarter Planet initiative, and one of the highlights of the show here has been the Smarter Cities initiative. Uh, we actually had one of the mayors on from one of the, the winning cities yesterday. Uh, can you talk a little bit about uh, you know, how does Vodafone play into the whole Smarter Cities initiative? Okay, uh, Vodafone has realized that buying infrastructure for each of the cities is really expensive and most of smaller towns can't afford it. So we realized that and we have found a way of offering these smarter city services as a cloud model, pay as they use it, and then we have found, we have uh, uh, partnered with IBM for doing this, and we are proposing a standard or sort of set of mo standard modules for these smaller cities from 20,000 to 200,000 inhabitants. All right, so yeah, I mean, it's such a huge challenge. I mean, I, I think I've, I've worked with governments uh, throughout my career, and right, everybody, they have their budget and they have their thing they have to worry about. Um, and infrastructure, of course, is something that t typically spans municipalities, uh, spans across it, so um, it, it's, it's great to hear of a technology solution that's helping uh, get beyond that. Uh, you know, Juan, do you have some commentary you want to add on, on the initiative? Yeah, uh, we think that is, uh, as Alicia said, it's very important to 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 get uh, to, to get close the, the initiative to a small a small towns and small cities in in Spain because they they, they can uh, they can afford uh, and they can use a technology like uh, we are uh, trying to to put into service because the budgets are so tight and even uh, after the economic crisis it's it's very complicated to to. To, to get that that kind of services, and and that's the one of the main of the main reasons. We we also try to to introduce the technology uh, in this in this kind of, of cities because we think that it's very important that the citizen uh, takes part of the life of the city and, and, and can help to make decisions to to their to their town halls and so on. Yeah, so, so, you know, so often, uh, you know, I mean, technology can be hard, but sometimes the technology is easy, but it's, you know, working through the finances, working through the politics, working through all, all the, the people issues. Uh, maybe, maybe can you give a little color, uh, you know, explain to us, you know, what, what, what's been kind of the, the biggest challenges and how, how has the Smarter City initiatives helped, helped change what was, was a problem in the past? At the moment, we are, trial, we are doing a trial with two cities and we have found uh, two different ways of convincing the town halls that these uh, uh, smartest cities are important to them. One is uh, through efficiency and cost-effective uh, initiatives, for example, saving electricity or saving uh, petrol or time of their workers, and then a second row of initiatives that are focused on making easier life to their citizens and revitalizing some parts of the cities that were becoming more, I don't know, more, less liable, for example, the city centers. So we have proposed these two cities, and, uh, a set of five, uh, what we call verticals, to, try to test if they like them, and from there we have to develop uh, the uh, other services that may be of interest to them. Yeah, I, please. Yeah. 
No, I think uh, one of the main challenges is to to help the city to make decisions because um, we mm, we not uh, not only try to 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 gather information from different sources, if, uh, if not integrate that information. That's the reason why it's so important the platform. Uh, if the city don't make decisions, it's, uh, we, we only have a database city. We don't have a smarter city. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, I'm curious. One of, one of the big themes that we've discussed uh, in technology is we need to move from point products, little things that fix things, to platforms. And smarter cities really sounds like a platform to me. There's lots of different entry points that people could consider, and there's there's a variety of problems. Uh, you know, how, how does IBM help with uh, you know bringing this solution? As you said, you're working with two different cities. There's different entry points and different ways that they have to do it. Yeah. It our proposal is basically based on IOC, uh, IBM IOC. Um, we are getting our I IoT platform, Vodafone IoT platform, and uh, sort of t g gathering data from that and integrating them with uh, IBM IOC. So this is how they can help us. And they are also helping us in some of the de uh, developing the verticals, the applications for running into the IOC. Right. Yeah. Can, can you talk, starting with two cities, what's your expectation on how, how does rollout like this happen? How do you learn and iterate based on uh, what's happened so far? What? Uh, the, the, um, we are going to start with two cities in, in Andalusia, in the south of Spain, uh, and our expectation is to, 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 to design with them the, the basic services and the aided services and the, in order to to propose these uh, these solutions to another another cities, so uh, we don't have uh, uh, yet uh, a clear uh, expectatives about the, the business uh, volume and so on. But uh, I think uh, in a few months we 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 will have the the design made and the proposal. Okay, c c can you share what it, what's the kind of the, the, the life cycle? How long does it take from mm -hmm. when you know you have to propose things? I'm curious how long that takes, and then kind of the rollout from kind of the beginning through the end. Can you walk us through how long that takes and what some of the key milestones are along the way? Yeah, it's it's very different because uh, public uh, public administration uh, has its its own rules uh, when when you are about uh, contracts uh, when you're talking about contracts, and but. Uh, I think uh, we can we can talk about uh, from six to twelve months. Okay. The, and the advantage of the, our proposal is that once we have developed all these services, and once the, this the town hall decided to go with our proposal, it will be really short time delivery because most of the things are already developed. We need only to make some adjustment to the parameters, install the sensors, and that's it. So it will be really short time to develop to a any city that is repeating the same thing again. All right, how does this whole initiative fit in with the rest of Vodafone's business? Is this Greenfield? Is this an extension of uh, some of the things that you're already doing with municipalities? It's a, it's a, a value-added services a service, uh, but it's very, it's just very, it's a strong related with our core business because the communica uh, communications is, uh, is a, uh, it's a must uh, if, if we are talking about uh, gathering information from different points of different sources. We need to to, to carry the, all of that all of these that data into the platform. So uh, I, uh, we, we think uh, that uh, today is uh, value-added services to our core business, but uh, it's very, very related with our, our business. And I would add that Vodafone is a strong player in machine-to-machine -machine IoT services, and uh, we, uh, we have a strategy of uh, growing on the value-added services of machine-to-machine. -machine. For example, we bought Cobra for automotive uh, business, autom automation business last year, and, and this is not the same, but it's related with uh, growing your uh, value added in your core business, as Juan Jose said. Yeah. Great. It, so my last question for, for both of you is, you know, how, how's the week been for you? You know, what's your experience been at IBM Edge? Uh, you know, what, uh, you know, of, of your peers have you been talking to? Uh, you know, what, 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 what's been the value for you coming to this event? I think it's very important to to share uh, what we are what we are doing with uh, not, not only with uh, another customers uh, but uh, with uh, IBM uh, people from other countries. 
because uh, we think that it's a very singular uh, initiative and, and, and it's very good and this is a, an excellent uh, uh, forum to, to, to do it. Yeah, on top of that, I would say that it's amazing what it's, uh, uh, you, we have been doing here and we, we would see what IBM is able to do. So for me, it's a really good experience. All right, well, Juan and Alicia, thank you so much for coming uh, you know, all the way here to Vegas, share your story, uh, network with your peers, uh, really appreciate that. Um, yeah, I can tell you the Cube, we do Vegas a lot. We're happy to come to Madrid anytime. Yes. Uh, you know, lo lovely place here. Uh, you know, Vegas has its certain charms, but after many times, uh, you know, absolutely. So thank you for joining us. Uh, we'll be back with lots more here from IBM Edge after this uh, quick break. Thanks for joining.